हेलो बॉयज सोहन वाला फ्रॉम बिरला विद्या मंदिर येस्टरडे यू स्टडीड टेंसेस फर्स्ट यू स्टडीड प्रेजेंट टेंस दैट इज सिंपल प्रेजेंट एंड देन यू स्टडीड प्रेजेंट कॉन्टिन्यूस एंड टूडे यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी present perfect tense so in simple present you studied that we use simple present tense for the things which we do regularly out of habit or which are facts at the moment then you studied in uh, present continuous that we write present use present continuous for the things for the actions which are taking place right now these days and today you are going to study present perfect which is used for the things that have been completed recently in the past or just recently and which have effect on our present time now you will you study the uses then you will understand how it has effect on your present time so we go ahead a bit uses of present perfect tense first one to express a recently completed action and uh, that is this is the example i have just finished my homework so this C- completed action is completing the homework i have just finished my homework and what effect does it have on our present that since i have completed my homework now i don't have to do it or the no more homework is left next is to express past action when the time is not given see some if we know the time of the action we use simple past tense for example we say i bought this pen yesterday but if we don't know the time it just say i have bought a pen so we have an example have you had your dinner no i haven't had it yet so this is the past action where time is not given have you had your dinner means we are not asking about time what time no i haven't had it yet so in both the cases we don't know the time next to express past action events the results of which is still persist yes for example he has had a bad accident and what is the result of having a bad accident perhaps he is in hospital perhaps he has a fracture he has fractured his arm like that so he has had had is the verb and has is the helping verb next to talk about a change that has happened over time sometimes we talk about a change that ha- that has taken a long time in the past so her hindi has improved since she moved to india that means from the time she moved to india her hindi has improved so has improved so it this change has come over a period of time now see you can always you can compare the present perfect tense with simple past tense and it is understood it's the, the the difference is very clear because in simple past tense you have time time is given time of action but in perfect tense time of action is not given exactly next is to speak about events actions and situations that are expected to happen for example again mahima has not arrived yet so the, the 
एक्शन एंड सिचुएशन दैट आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैपन सो महिमा इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू अराइव बट शी हैज नॉट अराइव येट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिमिलरली वी हैव आई हैव नॉट कम्प्लीटेड माई होमवर्क येट सो सेम काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल नाउ लेट्स गो अहेड एंड स्टडी दी फॉर्म फॉर्म मीन्स द वर्क फॉर्म वॉट वर्क फॉर्म वी यूज वी यूज हैव प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ दी वर्क और हैज प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ दी वर्क सो वी गो टू द फॉर्म ऑफ प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैज और हैव प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ दी वर्क एंड नाउ वी हियर वी हैव दी एग्जाम्पल्स दीज एग्जाम्पल्स मेक इट वेरी क्लियर नॉट हाउ टू चेंज दीज सेंटेंसेस विच आर इन एफर्मेटिव to negative and interrogative now let's look at these sentences affirmative first example i have met him once now how can we change it into negative simply by adding not i have not met him once and then have i met him once so this is how we change second one she has now look at the form say when i am having i i is the subject so we are using have with she we are using has so with singular subject we use has with i and all plural subjects we use have she has written a novel next one will be she has not written a novel and has she written a novel this is interrogative next one will be the tree has grown since i last saw it tree is again similar so we use has the tree has not grown since i last saw it and has the tree grown since i last saw it question mark now next sentence dhruv has completed his work now dhruv is dhruv is also singular so we are using the verb has plus completed so this is completed uh, look at these verbs met written grown completed all are third form of the verbs then next is dhruv has not completed his work and has dhruv completed his work now fifth one they have saved a lot this week they have not saved a lot this week negative and interrogative have they saved a lot this week now this is what i wanted to tell you that we use has or have has with singular nouns have with plural nouns and i and third form of the verb in all the sentences with every subject it will be third form of the verb met written grown completed and saved and this remains the same even in negative and interrogative there is no change in the form of verb this is present form of present perfect tense now what is the assignment this is the worksheet which you are supposed to do okay please go to the worksheet attached with this video lesson in your google classroom copy the same in your notebook or getting a print out must be difficult these days so you can just complete it anywhere if you don't have a notebook again you can copy it on some sheet and bring it to school now what is this worksheet yeah here it is present perfect tense so for example the the principal so what will we use here the i'm doing one for example the principal has because it is singular has already we will use already announce will be announced the principal has already announced the result like this you have to complete this one and then second part is 
complete the following conversation by filling the correct form of the verbs given in brackets so this is a conversation again you have to use uh, similar kind of you know uh, verbs and helping verbs and complete this entire thing third one again the same okay so you complete this worksheet and bring it when you come to school